everybody. How are you going? Welcome to your 45 minutes of yoga. Miss everybody. Hope everyone's well. Um, any injuries or early pregnancies, just take it easy. If you have a block and you want to use a block, I do not have a block, but if you'd like to use a block, go for using the block. We'll do a few stretches today, go through um, a little bit less flow. We'll do a little bit more core. Um, I got the thumbs up for a little bit of those chair squats that just sneaky gets into those glutes and a lot of fun stuff like that. So again, um, any injuries or early pregnancies and again, at any time it just gets too much and you just want to take a break, give yourself a nice little child's pose. So we're going to start by just crossing and have your bottle of water if you need that bottle of water close by and let's get ourselves started. Let's just cross our ankles. Sit up nice and tall, give those shoulders a nice little roll. If you're doing it live with me, oh, is it cold out today? And then back the other way. Big change from over the weekend. And then just giving yourself a nice little twirl around, giving that spine a little mobility. Up, sitting up nice and tall, lift up nice and tall, and then Sophie, let's give the side of my neck a little stretch out. So just grab your hand, don't tug, just a, just a gentle tip over to the side. If you can realign yourself, come onto your bony parts of your bones, just sit up nice and tall. So just find that perfect alignment, and then just softly tip your head to the side. So feel that nice stretch coming down the side of your neck. And so if they're staying in that direction, just pick your hand down to the side, lift your hand up, and then reach over nice and long. Now besides that stretch down the side of your neck, it's coming down alongside of your shoulder line, down the side of the waistline. And so if they place your hand on your knee and then just look over the back shoulder, taking that back hand behind you. Again, go as far as it feels comfortable for you. And again, team, if it's bending the legs isn't that comfortable, you can always extend out a soft bend of the knees. Remember to breathe, we sit up nice and tall, engaging the core. And then softly come back into the center, give yourself a nice little shoulder wrap, roll and back the other way. And now let's swap legs, put the other leg in front, up nice and tall, zip up the core, hand on our head. Tip yourself over to get that nice leg again, not tugging, not pulling out. Remember to breathe. And softly place the hand down, reach your arm up nice and high in the air. Relax your shoulders down, reach up and then tip yourself over. Beautiful 
guts and then come back into the middle, roll those shoulders and back the other way and then just hang your head and then either with your eyes open or softly close your eyes, give yourself a nice little twirl around of your head. One more in this direction, let's swap in the opposite way. Get nice and slow. Again, can't go all the way, that's okay. Just move your head side to side. Again, not thrusting, not pulling at the side of your head. Beautiful, guys. And then let's come onto all fours, waking up that spine with some nice little cat cows. So wrist in line with the shoulders, knees in line with your hips. Open the fingertips nice and wide and then just just bring the spine all the way up to the ceiling. Eye gaze softly looks at your belly. And softly come through the middle and then dip the lower back. Eye gaze looks up to the corner of your room. And then softly take it back. Again, remembering to breathe, letting all that energy out. Beautiful, guys. And then softly, let's take our right hand up nice in high in here. Take that inhale in, and then we exhale as we thread the needle, taking ourselves all the way down until our right cheek comes down to the floor. And then we're gonna go through this three times and then the last time hold down a little bit longer. But if you need a little bit of a break before adding into that movement and going back and forth, just stay down there that time, the whole time until we're down there on our third one. Otherwise, join me, we reach up nice and high. Up we take it and exhale down. Holding this last one. So if we lift up the hand and bring it across the lower back. Maybe our left finger toes come to that little imaginary right pocket. And then so if we take the left hand down, reach up nice and high. We turn the right hand down. Let's go through it three times. On the left side, we lift up the left hand, lift up nice and high, take that inhale in and exhale through. And up, we take it up nice and high and exhale through. Up, nice and high. Exhale through. And on this last one, so we lift up the right hand. Take your right hand just to the middle of your back. But if you feel like you want a little bit more of a stretch, bring your right fingertips to that imaginary little left pocket at your hip. Softly take the right hand out, lift the left arm nice and high, and then softly bring it back down. And then softly walk your hands to your knees up nice and tall. Let's give those shoulders a nice little roll around. And back the other way. And then send the arms up nice and high in the air. Let your left hand grab onto your right wrist and then softly tip yourselves over to the left side. Again, feeling that nice stretch too much pressure onto your knees, a couple things. You can fold your mat and then, or just have a towel underneath your knees or with too, a hot, uh, too much in that high kneeling position, just come down to our heels. And then 
and softly from here, adding on to that stretch, softly bring your left hand down to your, the left side of your leg and reach over that little bit longer, feel that nice lengthening. Again, relax your shoulders. And then softly take it back, send your left arm up nice and high and then softly tip, sorry, grab onto your right wrist, grab onto your left wrist. Tip yourselves over first, stay up in that top position first before we tip over that little bit further. And let the right hand drop down the right side of our body, reach over nice and long. Again, too much on the high kneeling position, just come down to your heels. Too much of the tip over, then don't tip over that far. And then slowly bring the back up nice and high, and then give a big circle of the arms. We take it all the way back and around, and then reach up. Take it all the way back. And one more here. And then change the direction, and reach up. And then slowly bring it back. Up nice and high, and softly bring it back. And one more for me to reach up nice and high, and then softly bring it back. Bring your hands behind your head, interlock your fingertips, and bring your elbows to the back of the room. And then allowing the back of the neck to get a nice little stretch, we softly bring the elbows to the front of the room, and then tip your eye gaze so you look down at the floor. Again, no tugging, so just let gravity pull you down to the, pull your elbows down into the direction of the floor. And then softly bring it back up, and then softly bring it back, if we want. Give your lower back a little bit of an arch and softly bring yourselves back a little bit further. And want that little bit more, come onto our toes. And then reach your hands behind, your hands come onto the heels. And then bring your chest up nice and proud. Squeezing your shoulder blades together in the back. Again, too strong, just stay here, too strong. Flatten the feet. Again, always having those other options to take on. Feel that nice long stretch coming down the front of our body from our pelvic bone all the way up through our belly into our chest, our sternum. And soften, flatten the feet, and then one more in the opposite direction. Good job, team. Now let's get into nice little stretching of our hip flexors. So first things first, we're gonna take our right foot forward, up nice and tall, and then send the arms up nice and high, and then softly give yourself that nice little tip over again. Again, finding your balance, right hand, left hand grabs onto the right wrist and tip yourselves over. Again, trying not to let the right hip fly away. So it's just a little tip that you're feeling that stretch coming down again the right side of your body. And then softly from here, come back into the center, release the wrist, send both, all fingertips all up to the ceiling, up nice and high, relax your shoulders. And then if you want, shimmy that right foot a little bit further and we come down that little bit lower. Again, bothering your left knee, just put a towel underneath your left knee. And then softly from here, Bring your hands, come down to the outside of your right foot. Bring your left hand nice and close to your right foot and then give yourself a nice little twist and send the right fingertips up nice and high up to the ceiling. One of a little bit more, softly curl your left toes under and we come into that nice long lunge. 
Beautiful, guys. Again, too strong in your right hip, just lower your left knee. And then slowly bring your right hand down, lower your left knee, and then tip yourselves back to get that nice stretch in the back of your thigh, so that's your hamstring, and straighten, if you can, straighten out the leg. I have extremely tight hamstrings, so as much as this is a good stretch, I hate it, but it's a beautiful stretch to do. Let's take a little bit lower. And then team, we are gonna lower yourselves down to the mat. So lower yourselves down, keep that right leg out nice and long, and then just bring our left foot into our inner right thigh. Reach up nice and tall, and then getting a little bit juicier into that right hamstring, the back of our thigh. Again, super tight, just bend your right knee and tip yourselves over from here. Again, maybe you bring your foot up and then you say, oh, I, I can get down. So again, just doing a little baby improvements again. And I'm going to get a little deeper into that hamstring, come back up nice and high, reach the fingertips up nice and high, and then let your right hand come in the inside of your right leg and then tip yourselves over. So again, getting into the back of the leg, but now we're also incorporating the left side of our waistline again. So getting that nice stretch. My flexi is if you can reach your left fingers to your right toes, go for it. softly take it back, bend your right knee, come back onto all fours. Let's give those shoulders a nice little roll around again and back the other way. Let's step our left foot forward this time. Reach up nice and high. Left hand grabs onto the right wrist, tip yourselves over. Release the hand from all the fingertips, reach the ceiling, relax the shoulders, don't let them creep up. And then adding on, we come a little bit lower. Again, need something underneath your right knee, just either fold the mat or grab onto a towel, if the towel's close by. Incorporating that bit of balance while we're here too. And then softly lower the hands down, hands come in the outside of your left foot, going for that beautiful twist. We lift the left arm up nice and high, I guess following those fingertips. One a bit more, softly curl your right toes under and we come up into that nice long lunge. Again, too much, keep your right knee down low. Softly lower the left hand, lower the right foot, tip yourselves back. Toes come up to the ceiling. Again, shimmy that foot further. Again, on this side, super tight hamstrings I have, so my love-hate relationship with this. And then we're gonna lower yourselves down to the ground. Send that left leg out nice and long. Oh, ouch. And reach up nice and high, give yourself a nice little twist towards that left leg and then reach over nice and long. You're doing great guys. So we don't have to get all fancy, 
with our yoga positions and stuff. It's just really focusing on a nice little stretching, incorporating movement, work on a little bit of balance, and then we come up nice and high. Left hand comes in the inside of the left leg, and then reach over. My flexes, again, if your right fingertips can touch your left toes, go for it. Again, you need to bend your too tight of left hamstring, just bend your left knee. Lower your right hand down, bend your left knee. We're going to come up nice and high, and then we're softly going to curl your toes under, and we're going to come into our downward dog. Get that nice lengthening, pedal the heels. And then team softly from here, getting that core to work, we're softly gonna come into our plank position. Too much in this plank position, lower your knees. Engaging the core, remembering to breathe. Let's come back to our downward dog. Pedal those heels. We've got our three rounds of our planks. Again, planks are too much on a long plank. Just lower down onto your knees and then come back out again. to lower the knees, lower the knees, and then send the bottom up nice and high again. Good job, guys. You got one more in the tank for me? Yeah, you can do it. I know you can. Here we go. One more into our plank. Again, just right from the get-go is too much. Lower your knees. We've got three, two, one. Everyone lower your knees and then slowly come into our nice little child's pose. Bring the big toes together if you can. Open the knees nice and wide. If extending your arms out doesn't feel good, then just bring your arms down by your side. If you can, sit down into the heels. Gentle side to side. Beautiful, guys. Curl the toes under. We've got a little bit of our flow to get into raising that heart rate. So we curl the toes under. Pedal those heels. And then let's make it up to the top of our mat. So our first one, nice little baby steps up to the top of our mat. Dip the hands down, circle the arms around up nice and high through our sun salutation. All that gaze looks at the fingertips, so they come through our heart center. We softly lower ourselves down. Once we lower ourselves down, we take a big step back with our right foot. We pivot the right heel down, circle the right arm around, and we come into our warrior two. Again, relax the shoulders. 
And then from here, we circle the right hand down, send the left hand down on the outside of our left foot, big step back with our left foot. Now we're back into the familiar position of our plank. We're gonna lower ourselves down, so take it nice and easy. First, we're we'll lower your knees down. Let the elbows skim the side of our bodies. Keep the neck nice and long as we softly try and your best not to drop yourself. So we lower ourselves down nice and slow and control. And then softly from there, we softly lift the chest up, soft little back bend, and then we come to our upward dog, curl the toes under, downward dog. Let's balance ourselves out. We take it to the other side. So let's make it up to the top of our mat. This time adding on a little bit more, hands come to our shins, nice long back. Then we softly lower ourselves down, up nice and high. Augies follow those fingertips so they come through the middle, through our sun salutation. Bend the knees if we have those tight hamstrings. And this time our left foot takes the giant step back. Pivot the left heel down, circle the left arm around, and we come into our warrior two. Sink that right leg a little bit further, relax the shoulders. Good job, team. Keep the momentum, keep the movement. Left hand comes down, right hand comes down. Send the right foot back. Let's come back onto our knees as we softly lower ourselves down. We softly lift up the chest, soft little bend in the lower back. Up we come, curl the toes under, and down we dog. Pedal the heels, take that breather break. Again, you need to take a break all together, just come into our child's pose. Adding on, let's come up to the top of our mat. Once we are there, hands come to our shins, nice long backs in the back side to the back of our wall, softly lower it down, lift up nice and high. Eye gaze follows the fingertips, come through the center. So if we lower yourself down, once you lower yourself down, take a big giant step back with the right foot. With the right heel down, coming into our warrior two. Sink that a little bit lower. And then softly flip your left hand and reverse our warrior. Softly send the left hand down, send the right hand down. Big step back with the left foot lower. Then you softly lower yourselves down. Upward dog, curl the toes under, downward dog. Let's get up to the top of our mat. Hands come to our shins, nice long back, softly lower down. Lift up nice and high, come through the center, softly lowering ourselves down. Once we lower ourselves down, let's take that left foot, big step back, lower the left heel down, circle the left arm up and around. And we come into our warrior two. Let us flip the right hand and reverse. Send the right hand down, send the left hand down. Big step back with the right foot. Knees or stay on your toes if you'd like to challenge yourself a little bit more. Softly lower yourselves down, upward dog. Curl the toes under and downward dog. Beautiful guys. Put all that heels. Again, if you need a sip of water here, you take that sip of water. Okay team, now we're gonna start from the back and adding a little more gusto in. So, so if we lift up the left leg, Bend the left knee, left heels hovering over our right bum. And then softly let the left leg come through and step the left foot all the way up to the top of the mat. Pivot the right heel down, circle the right arm around and we come into our warrior two. Softly flip the left hand and then we reverse the warrior. And then adding on again, left arm comes onto our left thigh and reach over nice and long. Let's 
Let's send our right hand down, send our left hand down. Big step back with the left foot. Staying onto our long plank, or lower our knees down. We simply come down through the middle. Upward dog, curl the toes and downward dog. Right into the right side. Right leg comes up nice and high. Bend that right knee, right heel hovering over your bum. Big step forward of the right foot. If it needs assistance, help it out. Pivot the left heel around, circle the left arm around. Then we come into our warrior two. Flip our right hand, reverse it. Right forearm comes to right thigh, reach over nice and long, get that nice long diagonal coming down the left side of our body. Send the left hand down, send the right hand down. Fix it back with the right foot, knees or toes as we softly lower ourselves down. Upward dog, curl the toes under, and downward dog. Beautiful, guys. Now we're gonna make the core work that little bit harder. Now after we lift the leg up from the back end, we're gonna turn it into our single-legged plank. Again, if you haven't done my classes before and you just need to have a watch, stop and have a watch, so, so they lift up the left leg, left leg up nice and high, and then we softly lower ourselves down. We come into our single-legged plank. Let's hold it here. And then we sweep the left leg up nice and high. And then it steps through again, needs assistance, help it out up to the top of the mat. We pivot our right heel down, circle our right arm around, and we come into our warrior two. Relax the shoulders, flip the left hand, reverse it. Left forearm on our left thigh, reach over nice and long. Again, feel that nice diagonal stretch coming from your right fingertips along the right side of your body, all the way down into your right heel. Lower the right hand down, lower the left hand down. Big step back with the left foot. Knees or toes as we simply lower yourselves down. Upward dog, curl the toes under, right into the right side, bend that right knee, right heel hovering over to our bum. Come into our single leg of plank, let's hold it here, hold it here, and let's sweep it back nice and hard, then step it through, again it needs help, help it on up, drop the left foot, circle around. Raising those heart rates, guys, you're doing great. Flip the right hand down, reverse. Right forearm, right thigh, reach over. Left hand down, right hand down, step the right foot back. Knees or toes, softly lower yourselves down. Upward dog, curl the toes under, downward dog. Beautiful, guys. Taking that break. Need a child's pose. Come into that child's pose. Okay, team, adding on. So now when we come into that single legged plank, our, our, we start with the left side. The left knee will come over towards our left elbow, our right elbow, our left elbow, then sweep back behind and then we come back to our familiar moves. So just let it add on a bit more core. Left leg up nice and high, left heel hovering over our left bum. Lift that left knee up a little bit higher, then we come to a single leg plank while we're here. Left knee comes to as close as our left elbow. Over to our right, over to our left. Sweep it up nice and high, then step it through into the center of the hands. Pivot. Nice soft step down, pivot the right foot down. Stay down low with me, you got it, guys. Down nice and low. Warrior two, flip the left hand. Reverse it. Left forearm, left thigh, reach over nice and long. Send the right hand down, send the left hand down. Step the left foot back nice and long. Stay up onto our toes. 
Or lower down to the knees, softly lower our sin down. Upward dog, curl the toes on the downward dog. Right leg up nice and high in the air. How you doing guys, you're doing great. Come into our single leg of plank, right knee, right elbow. Come over to the left elbow. Come over to the right elbow. Sweep it up nice and high. Step it through all the way up to the top of the mat. Pivot the left heel down. Circle around. Sink it low. Flip the right hand, reverse it. Right palm, right thigh, reach over. Left hand comes down, right hand comes down. Set the right foot back. Swiftly lower the knees down. Swiftly lower ourselves down. Upward dog, curl the toes in. Downward dog, icing on the cake for a happy yoga finale. No break here, one more time through. Left leg up nice and high, left heel hovering over the right bum. I promise you we'll take a break after both sides. Left knee, left elbow, tap it. Right elbow, left elbow, sweep it high. Step it through all the way up to the top of the mat. Pivot the right heel down, circle the right arm around. Warrior two. Flip the left hand, reverse it. So my guys, you're doing great. Left forearm, left thigh. Reach over nice and long. Right hand down, left hand down. Step the left foot back all the way back. Maybe we stay on our toes this time. Softly lowering ourselves down. Beautiful, guys. Upward dog, curl the toes under, downward dog, right into the right side. This is it. Right leg up nice and high. Right knee, right elbow. Left elbow, right elbow. Sweep it up nice and high. Step it through all the way up to the top of the mat. Pivot the left heel down, circle around. Sink a little bit lower. Flip the right hand, reverse it. Right forearm, reach over. Left hand down, right hand down. Send the right foot back. Knees or toes, last time through. Upward dog, curl the toes under. Downward dog, lower the knees. And there we go. Whoo! Really good job, guys. Gentle rock side to side. Good job, guys. Bring yourselves onto your backs. Send your legs nice and long. Tuck those knees in. Gentle little rock side to side. Lower your feet down, take your left ankle, cross it over your right thigh, gently push away your left knee. Bring your arms down by the side and that, let, then let your body tip over, sending your left foot all the way down to the floor on the right side of your body. Right hand, if you can, grips onto your right ankle and then reach the left arm nice and high above your head. Softly push that left knee away towards the far wall. Coming back to that nice little stretch. Now we're feeling down the side of our body where we do those reverse warriors. And then getting that nice stretch on the outside and the inside of your left leg. I promise you we'll get right into the groove in just a second. Gently circle the left arm around, tip yourselves back over, lift up your right foot, lift up your head, reach through the middle, clasp your hands underneath your right kneecap. Too much grip onto your thigh instead. Lift up your head, tuck yourself into that nice little ball. And then we softly start to lower your heads down. 
and a gentle rock side to side. Release the hands, lower your right foot, untwist the left. Now let's lift up the right ankle. Right ankle just softly crosses over your left thigh. Gently push away your right knee. And then allow yourself to tip over. So now your right foot comes down to the floor if it can get there. If your left hand can grab onto your right ankle, pull it in a little bit closer. And then we reach your right arm way above your head, enjoying that nice stretch down the side of our body again, and then softly push the right knee away. Again, bring that left hand back down to the right ankle. We're feeling that in the inner and the outer thigh until we come into our right glute. Softly circle the right hand around, come back into the center. Let's lift up your left foot, let's lift up your head, reach through the middle, close underneath your left knee, or just grab onto your left back of your thigh, your left hamstring, lift up your head, tuck yourself into that nice little ball, and then softly lower your heads back down and a gentle rock side to side. Release that right foot, hug the knees into your chest. Softly lower your heads down, extend that left leg nice and long. Give your right ankle a nice little twirl around. And back the other way, again relax the shoulders. And then change, taking your right knee now all the way over to the left side. If it can reach the floor, that's great. If it can't, just keep it hovered in the air. And then open the arms nice and wide. And then turn your head to look over towards your right hand to, again, get that nice stretch coming down the right side of your body, relaxing the shoulders. So if we come back into the middle, lower the hands, let's bring the left knee in, gentle rock side to side, and let's turn that right leg out nice and long, left knee in, clasp your hands underneath your kneecap, and then so if we tip yourselves all the way over it, so your left knee comes down to the floor. If it can't reach the floor, that's okay, just keep it hovering in the air, and then we open your arms nice and long, turn your head to look over towards your left hand, They come back into the center, extend your legs up nice and long, drop the arms down. Beautiful guys, and then just give me a few minutes of relaxation. If you want to just stop the, um, your Facebook time, just stop it for a moment, and then just enjoy that few minutes of relaxation. And then I'm gonna continue on to bring you out of your relaxation, but please give yourself a few minutes of that time of relaxation. If you joined me for your lunch break, thank you so much. If you're joining at a later time of the day or another day, thank you again. And then team, I just want you to just close your eyes, allow yourselves to just melt into your mats. And again, staying here for a few minutes, please do so. Again, 
and on that extra little flow always helps us raising that heart rate and become that center of gravity. And then softly coming out of our relaxation by softly wiggling your toes, gently rolling your ankles, gently brush your thumbs against your fingertips, and then take your beautiful inhale in and reach your arms up nice and long, allow that lower back to lift up from the mat, big long beautiful stretch. Softly wing your arms down by your sides, bend your knees, bring your heels nice and close to your bums. And then softly tip your knees to the front of the room and with that top hand slowly pushing yourselves up. Well done everyone. Cross our ankles or send your legs out nice and long, whatever you feel. Reach your arms up nice and high, eye gaze follows those fingertips. Bring your hands down to that heart center, softly lowering yourselves down. Softly looking up. Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Give me any feedback, anything maybe you want to add on if you want to do more core or you want to get more glutes or you want your flow session to be a, just give me your feedback all up for it. Take care, and I'll see you when I see you next. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.